Now let's take a question number 49. It states that if this statement is equal to 133 upon 30, then 1440A square, B square, C square is equal to which of these options? Where you have A, B and C as non-zero real numbers. So let's proceed with this question. You need to focus on this given equation provided to you. On the left hand side, as you can see, I have here 4A square and here I have 1 upon 9A square. This is just like the identity a square plus b square and a square plus b square can be expressed as a minus b whole square plus twice of a b. So we can consider here a as 2a and b as 1 upon 3a and express it in the same form. On doing so, here you get 2a minus 1 upon 3a whole square. This is a minus b whole square plus 2ab will be plus 2 into 2a upon 1 into 3a where a gets cancelled and you will be obtaining here 4 upon 3. Next coming to this term 9b square plus 1 upon 16b square can be expressed in the similar manner as 3b minus 1 upon 4b whole square plus 2ab will be 2 into 3b into 1 upon 4b that simplifies to the value 3 upon 2 that is 6 upon 4. Next, here you have 16c square plus 1 upon 25c square. It can be definitely expressed as 4c minus 1 upon 5c whole square plus 8 upon 5. And on the right hand side, you have 133 upon 30. You will find that on left hand side, we have these three constants. 4 upon 3, 3 upon 2 and 8 upon 5. When you take some of these three, this is equal to 133 upon 30. So, it will get cancelled and on the right hand side you will get 0. That means in the next step you are going to obtain 2a minus 1 upon 3a whole square plus 3b minus 1 upon 4b whole square plus 4c minus 1 upon 5c whole square equal to 0. So, you can clearly observe on the left hand side I have sum of square of these three quantities that means this is sum of three non-negative quantities and when you take sum of non-negative quantities that becomes equal to zero. This is possible if and only if when all three of them are equal to zero. That means I will be next equating these three brackets that means these three expressions to zero. So it is going to result here 2a minus 1 upon 3a equal to zero. When you simplify this it will result here 6a square is equal to 1. In similar manner, here you have 3b minus 1 upon 4b. It is equated to 0 and finally it results 12b square is equal to 1. Next you have 4c minus 1 upon 5c. This is equal to 0. When you simplify this, here you get 20c square is equal to 1. So you can find here these three equations. When you multiply these three equations, you are going to get that. I have 6a square into 12b square into 20c square. This is equal to 1 into 1 into 1 and product of these three quantities results 1440 a square b square c square is equal to 1. Therefore, this is the required result. So, I could definitely say that the value of this quantity 1440 a square b square c square is equal to 1 which is found here in option number 2. So, you can definitely Mark your answer to be equal to 2. Just write here, answer is option 2. I hope it is clear to you. Now, let us proceed to our next question. Here I have next question which states a positive integer. n when divided by a, it gives 5 as remainder. The remainder when 3n minus 4 is divided by 6 is out of these four options. So, here we are talking about the integer n and has been stated when n is divided by 8 it gives the remainder as 5. So, this is the dividend divisor is 8 let us suppose you are getting quotient as x and remainder is 5. Next you need to obtain the remainder when 3n minus 4 will be divided by 6. So, in place of n I am substituting 8x plus 5. So, 3 into 8x plus 5 minus 4 is there when you simplify this it is going to result 24x plus 11. It has to be divided by 6. So, this will be 6 into 4x 
plus 6 into 1 plus 5. So you can observe here I could take 6 common on taking 6 common here it results 4x plus 1 plus 5. Now through this I get a clear idea when 3 and minus 4 is divided by 6 the quotient can be 4x plus 1 but remainder will be 5. That means I have obtained the required answer here I could definitely say that when 3 and minus 4 is divided by 6 answer will be option number 2 that is 5. You can definitely mark your answer as option 2. I hope it is clear. Now let us proceed to our next question. Here I have the next question which states let curve surface area of the cone and sphere are equal and they are of same height. If the radius of the cone is capital R then h square upon capital R equals. So here in this case we are talking about a cone and a sphere which are of the same height. So if you observe the cone and the sphere of the same height let us consider in this case I have here this cone and I have here this sphere. Let us take here sphere has the radius small r so its diameter will be twice of r and here height is h here radius is provided as capital R. In this case height are same that means h will be equal to twice of r. So you can definitely say that h upon 2 represents the radius r and here I have the slant height as l. Slant height can be obtained with the help of height and radius and this is equal to square root of h square plus capital R square. So I have considered here the radius to be small r. It has been also given that curve surface area of these two is also equal. So you can easily obtain curve surface area of cone which is given by pi r l. This is equal to curve surface area of sphere which is 4 pi r square. Now here let us substitute l as square root of r square plus h square and here I am substituting this radius as h upon 2. So I get here 4 pi h square upon 4. Now you can easily simplify this one as pi pi gets cancelled and here 4 4 gets cancelled. So I am obtaining in this case h square and here r into square root of r square plus h square. So in the next step if you simplify you will get here h square upon capital R is equal to square root of capital R square plus h square. So this is the required quantity and you have clearly obtained that h square upon capital R is equal to square root of r square plus h square. So I hope it is clear to you. So you can definitely mark here the answers out of these four options and you can clearly get that is equal to square root of h square plus r square and you can write here answer for this question is option 3. I hope it is clear to you. Now let us take up our next question. 